Goodbye, villager. I hope you will take care of the place while I'm out. Passport is two, five, and eight. Wait, something is wrong. It doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? Wait, what did you do? No, seriously, what did you do? Oh, the passport was two, five, eight, eight, and. Why are we here? Oh, we need that to open another vault. Wait, so why did we just open this vault? Uh, look behind you, a tutorial. What, where? Hello, my name is Patigo. Actually, it is not my real name. But you don't care, you are here for a tutorial. Before starting, I wanna say sorry, because last week I didn't post any video. Um, that is because uh, that week was a really tough week. I didn't have any free time at all. Uh, but I have a new old mic that I found. Um, yeah, tutorial. So, this is a combination lock from a, a classic safe box you know uh, these ones with the circle in the middle uh, with the numbers and you make it spin to coincide with the password uh, that thing but in minecraft and um, yeah as you saw in the little montage that I made uh, you can actually repeat the numbers in the password um, yeah in this uh, little montage the password was uh, this position then this position and at, at last uh, this one twice to open the door and, and talking about the door uh, that 3x3 three three piston door will be the next uh, tutorial uh, I think uh, I called it um, the 3x3 three three particular door uh, I don't know what you guys think about this uh, let me know in the comments if I should change the name uh, anyway let's go into the tutorial so for this build, you're going to require the following things. One item frame. I suggest one lever. Uh, this is the, the spinning thing in the item frame. Uh, one button. Two comparators. 29 redstone dust. 20 redstone repeater. 19 torches. Two droppers. One observer. 8 redstone blocks, 16 pistons, uh, 1 stone slab or more, and over a stack of blocks. So, you want to start with 2 blocks already placed. Place a item frame with a lever, or whatever block you want to put. On this side, place a button. Behind the button, place a redstone torch. Here place a slab with a comparator detecting the item frame. Now place a blocks, eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all of them with redstone on top. Now place a another line of blocks. Right here, another one here another one here uh, 
like that. Now place a line of repeaters like so. Now place torches in here. Torches in here. Repeaters at two ticks in here. And a line of locks with redstone on top, like so. And let's not, and do not forget the block on top of this torch in here. Now, place a line of pistons facing down at the side, at the side of these torches, like so. Now, ah, yes, like that. Here place another line facing up. Like so. Here place a line of redstone blocks. And here under this torch place one dropper facing down. And here one, one dropper facing up. Here, place an observer facing down, a block, another block, another block, torch on top, torch here, and rest on dots. And let's not forget this repeater. Now, here, place uh, two lines of blocks, like, like so. And another one in here. Now place one, two, three, and four repeaters. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Restone dust. So here comes the tricky part. Tricky part for me to explain how the thing works. You don't know how many minutes I've been here trying to explain the thing properly to the screen. Whatever. Um, there are two different configurations for this machine. The first one is the standard one. And the second one is the one that has digits that can be re repeated. That's the word. Um, yeah, I will explain how to do the first one and the second one in the second place. Uh, yeah, uh, in my case, the password will be one, two, and four. Now, we see that the password has three digits, one, two, and four. So, in this dropper, we will place one, two, three, and four objects. Three for the numbers and one to close the door. Now here place three blocks and here slabs. Now place redstone and toggle the same. Good. Now I will place the password. One, two, and four. This one is off. Now here is one item left. If I place, if I press the button again, this thing will be powered again. And the door, or the thing that is connected to this, will be closed. So now for the one that has repeated numbers you want to do the same thing one three six six this is my password if we count we have one two three and four digits 
So, in this dropper, we will place 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 non stackable items. That's a difference between the standard and the repeated digits version, whatever. Um, place in here blocks and slabs like in the previous one. But now in here place one and two blocks. Now if in your password this block is in is on top in here, place a slab, right? I will place a block. Place two redstone dust and one block in here. Now in this version you can connect your door or mechanism uh, to one of these blocks, not the whole line. Uh, whatever. Uh, toggle the thing, and that's it. Now, one, three, and it was six, three, four, five, six, yes, six. See, those one, those two still powered. Now, if we press press the button again, they will be unpowered. And if we press the button again, it will be closed. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what I spoke wrong or said wrong. Uh, let me know. Let lead me leave me suggestions for future videos and i think that's it oh right this 3x3 piston door it will be coming next week uh, let me know if someone has already made that type that type of door to change the name anyway bye